Hi everyone! If you don't know me yet, my name is Greta and welcome to my channel. So happy Halloween guys! Halloween is fast approaching and you're probably looking for a um, makeup looks to create and I personally can't imagine a Halloween without a skull makeup. This is for me it kinda comes together. Halloween skull isn't it? Well, anyway, so this year I thought I'm not gonna go for a classic black skull look. I'm gonna go for a pink glitter and this is what I came up eventually. So if you're interested how I created this pink glitter skull makeup, the tutorial is about to start. So let's watch. All right, let's do this. So first I'm gonna apply a foundation. I'm using a Revlon Colorstay 220 oily combination skin and mixing that together with Max Studio Fix Fluid in NC25. So I want the under eyes to be really really bright so I'm gonna contour that bit a little bit. So for that I'm just gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in Fair. So my face looks a bit ghostly now and white because of all, all the concealer we put on. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set this all up like we usually would do. So I'm just gonna use a Enreal Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder to do that. So while the powder is setting, I think we should start the eyes. So I'm gonna use for that Makeup Revolution Flawless for palette and I'm gonna go with a color called Bittersweet. So next thing, I'm taking a brown line brush by Zoeva and I'm just gonna take the darker color and draw kind of like a cut crease and later we're gonna tie this up. So I'll take another a little bit darker purplish color called Flash from Urban Decay eyeshadow box. Same brush and gonna go in the same place where I did before. Taking a bit of this darker color and gonna go on the outer corners. So we're gonna tidy up the eyes a bit later. Let's do the eyebrows at the moment. So I'm taking my favorite eyebrow brush, which is eyeliner brush by Real Techniques. And I'm gonna go with the same pink color of the hotter that we used before. And just fill in my eyebrows. And to create the ombre effect, I'm coming back to Urban Decay eyeshadow box and taking the same color lash. Alright, so we got eyebrows in a place. We're gonna finish the eyes later because we're gonna add the glitter all together. So next thing we're gonna do, jump in with the contour and for that I'm gonna use a Makeup Revolution Revaholic Cheeks palette. And I'm gonna go with this pink pink color. So small lens brush, I'm gonna contour and nose as well. I'm gonna drag it slightly bit up to my forehead. And taking a bit warmer color, this one in here, I'm gonna add on the cheeks a bit more to warm it up. I want to accent contour a little bit more, so I'm taking the same Insta Fix and Matte and Vitamel in a wet beauty blender and just gonna add a little bit more powder on the contour all right so next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw the nose a little bit so i'm taking the same dense brush that i used to do my eyebrows and i'm gonna use the same flawless flow palette by makeup revolution and this black color in here and just gonna draw a little bit of the nose and blend the color out with a clean brush And using the same brush that I use now to blend the color out, it's a little bit of product left, so going for my contour a little bit more. All right, let's do the eyes. So for this, I'm taking a small dense brush and the concealer. I'm using this by one by Maybelline Instant Anti-Age and the eye concealer. And I'm gonna just basically clean up the cut crease so we can add the glitter on. So 
So next thing I'm doing, I'm taking a small dense brush. This is actually a brow brush, but I prefer to use it to press the glitter on. And I'm just gonna spray it with Max Fix Plus. And I'm gonna jump in the same Urban Decay shadow box and I'm gonna use this color called Big Cowboy and go all over my mobile lid. So taking the same brush that I used before and I'm gonna jump in with this pink color on, on my lower lash line. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit of highlighter and then we're gonna add a glitter on. So for the highlighter today, I'm gonna use this one by NYX Duo Chromatic Highlighter in Twilight Tint. Let's move on with some glitter. So I'm gonna mix these two by NYX Glitter Brilliance uh, Body and the uh, Eye Glitter. Uh, one in gold and one in silver. So to do that, I'm gonna use a Glitter Fix Gel by Barry M. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the lower lash line and do like a tears kinda. and a little bit on the eyebrows. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump in and apply the eyeliner and then a false lashes. So for the eyeliner today, I'm gonna use L'Oreal Superliner Black Liqueur. So I'm just gonna jump in and apply a falsies. So for falsies, I'm gonna use this super cheap one pound uh, falsies from Primark called Intense. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line by Revlon Mega Multiplier. Okay, we're nearly there guys. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the lipstick and then draw the teeth thing, kinda, like, you know, like for skull. So for lipstick, I'm gonna use Makeup Revolution Revaholic Lips and I'm gonna go with this super pink color in here. And I'm just taking a little bit of the same highlighter by NYX Twilight Tint and add a little bit in the middle of my lip. And the last thing we're gonna do, just taking the same eyeliner that I used and gonna draw those false teeth. So I didn't realize I wasn't filming. So what I did, I took this Urban Decay eyeshadow box and a color called Tornado, the same as we used before, a small lens brush, and I just added a little bit in here between the black lines that we applied and basically blended this out. And I think we are done, guys. What do you think? The look is complete. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and you're gonna recreate something similar. If so, don't forget to tag me in your pictures as I would love to see it. And yeah, I really enjoyed creating this and just improvising and go with the flow. <laughs> So I really hope this video was helpful and you liked it. If so, don't forget to press a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and I can't wait to share more videos with you guys and I'll see you very very soon. So thank you so much for watching and bye! Ciao!